A mother's heart is an abyss at the bottom of which there is always forgiveness. The raid on Labastille ended with nothing but more deception and emotional holes. Sure, Madame's rule has come to an end. But my past still eludes me. Without my memories, I have no choice but to follow Edge's instructions with hollow conviction. And despite the atrocities I witnessed in that prison winning me over to the errorist cause, the recovered memory of my crime is gnawing away at my soul. I pushed a man to suicide. What else have I done? Worse? Edge only sees cause for celebration. Our liberated comrades have remembered their credo and taken up the fight against sense and technology once more. And now he wants to strike at the heart of the reconversion project and smash Memorize forever. His plan, go for the Queen Bee. Scylla Cartier-Wells, president of Memorize. I must remix her worldview, skew her past and soften her heart. And so I asked myself, is winning this struggle worth losing my soul? Can one crime justify the reversal of another? The old Nilin seemed to have the answer. As for this Nilin, she doesn't have a clue. I feel like that edge dude is like nothing but trouble. Yeah. You're going to infiltrate the Memorize head office. Find that bitch Scylla and put an end to her reconversion project. But why? Crush her errant beliefs. We must stop her from building an army of leapers. Who is this? Why is she a bitch? So they actually explain this like throughout the game. So okay. she's the she's the wife of that guy oh, yeah. who created the project. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So they said an army of leapers, so that leads me to believe that they are creating the leapers on purpose. I see. I just pressed this button, I don't know where I'm going. go through shit to make things better, but other times it's like, maybe you should ask why you're doing all the shit that you're doing. That's all I got to say. Maybe just ask why for like half a second. Or just one time, ask why. Who was this? Your, Your mind of memorize. Or free your mind. Free your mind? <laughs> Oh! Hey! Oh, that's 
exit? Yeah. I think we're supposed to go through here. Maybe. Hurry. This is our last chance to shoot Memorize. Right in the brainstem. Another errand. I'm not some obedient valet, Edge. Then I'm not your conscience, mm. Nilan. You're as free as any other human. Am I? Or are you manipulating my brain? Finally talks back to him a little bit for once. Like how these robots are like, yeah. oh my god! Doesn't it doesn't it look like she's being like, oh that's so funny. I know, right? <laughs> Such a jerk. Yes, yeah. yes, I totally agree. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh really, no, <laughs> girl? He's no good for you. Get away from him. <laughs> I wonder if they program like these guys do not give citizens a citizens of Neo no. Paris. The Leaper threat has been addressed. Thanks to the conversion project, they now live to serve you faithfully. From sanitation. I know this to place. Safety, yeah. They have it's been trashed. The heiress are causing chaos throughout the city. Use the diversion. Memory. Get up to Scylla's office. You remember? We went through this area. It was super nice, but now it's not! Ha <laughs> ha! We did this! I guess not. Oh. <sighs> Citizens of Neo Paris, the Leaper threat has been addressed. Thanks to the reconversion project, they now live to serve you faithfully. From sanitation to saber force, they have become productive servants of society. The reconversion project by Memorize. Humane responses to barbaric perils. Maybe, just saying maybe we should steal some chocolates while we're here. Tell me, Edge, how did you recruit me to the Errorist cause? Tommy claims that you just showed up in his bar one day. A lost soul. Adrift in a sea of regret. He says that he knew immediately that you were going to be one of us. But who can trust his memory these days? You know, sometimes I think you're a better poet than a freedom fighter. Perhaps in another world I am. Perhaps in another world? Who knows? No, but like... Is he real? We've never met him. I don't... I don't even know. I just know that everything, everything seems like bullshit right now, and I just don't believe anything. Citizens of Neo Paris, the Leaper threat has been Maybe addressed. Maybe he's not an actual person. More drones. Surgeon project. Come on, Ellen. You can make it. These are awful. They can't see you through walls. They can only see you when they're st when you're standing right underneath them. Best security system ever. This is ridiculous. Oh, I think you can go out on that on that ledge. Nope. No. Can't. Uh, 
able to. Can you shoot it? I don't know. They shoot to kill, though. I didn't think you could. No, I can't. Maybe you could, maybe you could DOS it. DOS it? Oh, there's something behind it. Oh. But how are you going to get underneath it? Oh. What? Oh, if it goes through that, you can duck into yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm like backseat gaming on you. Well, that's like your job, you know. To be a backseat gamer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's like your job. To be a backseat gamer. Your Mordra. I know. Come on, Nellin. You can make it. I wanted to get the thingy, but I guess I can't. I'm not skilled enough. Ah! Yeah. Oh, you did it. Because I'm a skilled pro gamer. Cause I'm a pro, not a scrub. Duh. Are you just gonna go back and forth, or what's what's the situation? Do we go, go down? Down. That was obvious to me. I'm smart. The saber force has the district locked down. Remember that guy who sent you a message saying that he's a better gamer than you, and then told you to PM him. Yeah! That was the weirdest shit ever. And then Wasn't you're like, that the most like weird passive aggressive like come on? Because I bet I'm a better gamer than you. No no no, he said he was a better gamer than you. Then he said for you to PM him, which meant that you had to give him access to your private messages. Yeah. And then when you said no thank you, he called you a dick. Yeah. I was like He was like, no need to be a dick to a fan. And I was like, what? <laughs> you just Edge. what? <laughs> You insult me. All this me. flood damage. They've lost everything. We did this. The world is drowning, sis. You're the only one that can throw us a lifeline. You're talking in riddles, Edge. You are my scalpel, Nilan. Hmm. A weapon against a planet full of tombs. Excuse me? A scalpel. Whoa. Interesting metaphor. I would be like, oh, excuse me? I'm what? I'm a tool? You're a tool, Edge. Your name is Edge. If you need any more proof about who's the tool. It's you. <laughs> Here's a hint. It's you. Sorry, I know Laura. Okay, I was like, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. It's like, oh no, I'm an asshole. No, wait, no, no, no I'm not. No, no. I'm not an asshole. No, <laughs> no, I merged two things together as usual. I'm like, no, all of the people that I've ever met took place at the same time. Yeah, they were all there for everything with me. <laughs> As Geek Greek Mix Twist, uh, Mari and Stacy are the same person. Oh, I can only hit them when they're in the light. That's weird. These androgynous female ones are like. So I think it's the female ones that can be invisible at night or something? Oh, possible. Uh oh, what do I do? 
I'm not sure what to do. Oh, you can, there's, uh, one of your thingies will illuminate them. Which one? I don't remember. Just try the D, try the one in the lower left. I can't. Oh. It's like drinking in like a rage stream of horrible memories or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Okay. Hey Antoine, it's Molly. It was really cool to come over last night and be your guinea pig. I mean, functional magnetic resonance scanning is far the fuck out. <laughs> and all your gadgets rock. Mega geek. Call me. I want in. Hey, meet me on the corner of Jones and O'Farrell, 10 o'clock. My turn to impress. If you got a clean shirt, wear it. <laughs> Ouch and out. In summary, there is much evidence to associate the amygdala with emotion and with learning about emotionally significant events. It is involved in a wide variety of emotional responses, including responding to linguistic threat, facial and vocal expressions of emotion, memory of emotional events, and even simply responding to pleasant and aversive stimuli, including music. The evidence for the primary involvement of the amygdala in emotion is overwhelming, which only becomes fully apparent when a patient is observed in real-life situations, with all their complex social and emotional interactions, rather than in the more controlled environment of the psychological laboratory. The amygdala is implicated in a huge array of mental disorders, these include schizophrenia, depression, generalized anxiety disorders. It has one of the densest collections of benzodiazepine receptors in the brain, receptors that respond selectively to anti-anxiety drugs such as diazepam, obsessive compulsive disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. It is also thought to be vitally important in the development and maintenance of drug abuse. Time for laughter practice. Five minutes a day makes Molly a happy girl. So let's start. Then we can find out where to buy those new trainers. A long walk down to the market will smooth out today's weekend anxiety. And then lunch. Let me see what's good. Sushi? 